sons and daughters, number one responsibility to the shepherd is to pray for him. Are you praying for the appointed son? Yes. Respect the appointed son. Yes. Respect the shepherd and love the shepherd. Amen. The son was made the firstborn of the father. The respect you give to the son is the same respect you give to the father. That's why he said, he who honors the son honors the father who hath sent him. It's always the one who sent me in which you are responsible. Not only you, but all humanity. All people who are listening to me. When you see me, the way you see me, the way you treat me, and the way you pray about me is the way you treat God, yes. the one who sent me. If you wish me all evil, then the one who sent me is looking at you. And the one who sent me will say, I will fulfill the desire of your hearts. All evil will come to you. It's not me who desired that. It's you who desired it for me, but you don't know who I am. It will all come back to you. Kasi tao ka lang din eh. Tao ka lang. Oh, ang tao mo lang pera, mabait. Pero magka-pera yan, you will see the attitude of a person, you will see the character of a person when that person suddenly is given much money. Kwarta, pera. Makikita ni mo diha ang mga sungay niya manglutaw. Kung buutan siya, musamot siya ang kabutan para sa kuha. Kung born again in the spirit siya. Pero pagka waka kaila sa unang pobre siya, buutan kayo. Sa wala pa siya power, buutan kayo. Pero pagka nagka-power, when money was given to them, nagka-pera na siya na ang sungay di landuha. Pati likod na sungay. Pati ikog na sungay. Tanan, sungayan na. Wala na yung magpasurang-surang na ako kay dato na yung ako. Ha? Di yun ako, kuhit-kuhiton ko ninyo. O, naan ako'y gahom. Naan ako'y power. Ayaw ko niyo, binuwangi. Di niya magustuhan. Tiklop. Inana ang tao pagka siya nagka-power, nagka-pera. Pero kita, Unsa ang ato mga pagampo? The more panalanginan ta, the more ta magampo sa ato magbalantay. John 5:22-23, the, the word of God says, "For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father." He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. What did he say? For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. Because the Father now in this earth is dependent upon the Son whom he has trusted on who are for him and who are not for him. That's why he has committed that to me. All of you who are going against the appointed Son... I can judge you now. The Father in heaven is looking at you. And your names are written also on the left side. Angels are writing your name and are saying, in the last of the last days of your lives, you will see you will be begging for salvation because one day soon you will die. Maybe not of disease, maybe not of old age, but maybe of a sudden death that you don't even know what hit you. And then your soul will face God in judgment. And what will you say? What will be your testimony? What is your relationship with the appointed son sent into this world to save humanity? What is your treatment of him? How can you face him? Ah, uh, I pray that he will be destroyed. I persecuted him. I bashed him. I pray that he will not prosper. This is your record. 
The Word of God says every idle word you say is recorded in heaven. He showed me this vision of angels writing every word that man has said about the Son, whether pro or con. Those who have been contrary, who are saying things against the Son, you think you have erased it? Ang inyong pagtuo, ang inyong paniniwala, na erase na yung pinagsasabi ninyo sa akin, at yung ninanasa ninyong gawin sa akin, at yung mga plano ninyong gawin sa akin, ang inyong paningin, iyan ay hindi nakikita ng Panginoong Diyos. Kung makapangyarihan kayo, mas makapangyarihan ang Diyos na nagpadala sa akin. Kawawa kaluluwa nyo. Kawawa kaluluwa nyo. I pity your soul if you do that. Because you are just a human being who one day will die. Look at the rich young man. Who had prospered. Had much money in his hands. And he looked at himself. And said you have much money. You have much property. I'll destroy my old barns and I'll build bigger ones. And there I will store all my wealth and my goods and my billions and my billions of billions. Not contented with billions, billions pa. Not contented with billions, trillions pa. And they thought they will live here 120 years more. And then he told his soul, soul, Suit yourself. Eat, drink, and be merry. Do everything you want to do because you have the power, you have the money, you have the wealth. Look at your bank account. Look at your bodegas. They are all full. Look at your businesses here and there. Wow! There's nothing I had desired in my heart that has not been given to me by this world. I am it. I am now it. Then one day, God heard you. And God said to the rich man, Thou fool, tonight your soul will be required of you. And who will inherit all of those things that you have stored for yourself? This is what happens to those who are rich in this world, but are not rich in heaven. Yeah, the word of God is very clear. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself is not rich toward God. You who have said things against me, you who are planning things against me, when you go down to sleep tonight, do not sleep without repenting. Without changing your mind about me. Because God is watching over you. Hallelujah. Because if you die, and that was your plan, and it happened to you, how will you face him in judgment? This is what's going to happen to those who are rich in this world, but are not rich in heaven. You will go to hell. Hell. Ayaw na ingni. Malusog ka karun. That's why I told you, an angel of death may visit you tonight, an angel of judgment. Isa ka kuhit sa imundiri, gibangungot ka na. Binangungot. Bakit namatay to? Ang healthy-healthy nito, binangungot. Bakit binangungot? Sobrang kain ng pansit. <laughs> Gituok daw kagabi eh. <laughs> hmm. Kita ninyo? Tapos namatay. O kinsa may managiya. Sinong magme-may-ari ng lahat ng iyong ipinundar sa bundong ito? Kaya huwag kayong masyadong magpakalasing sa kapangyarihan pagka marami kayong pera. Pagka marami kayong pera, pasalamatan niyo ama, tumulong kayo sa napakaraming tao. Tulungan ninyo si Pastor Kibuloy.
Tulungan ninyo ako sa aking magandang ginagawa sa buong sanlibutan. I'm spreading, I'm the ambassador of peace towards all the people of the world. Help me promote peace. Help me promote prosperity of the people. Help me to promote justice. Help me to promote goodness all over the world. Do not persecute me. Do not try to decimate me. Do not try to kill me. And you thought you are doing God's will. When you do that, you are not. You are doing against His will. And it will be charged on your part. That will be very hard on you. Because I'm not alone in this ministry. That's why I am bold when I speak like this. Because I'm, I'm not afraid of human beings who are trying to kill me. I'm not. I'm sent by God. I'm sent by the Lord Almighty who created the heavens and the earth. Number four. Responsibility to the unity of sacrifice. So you, kingdom citizens, listen. Tithes and offering is number one responsibility that we have. Ayaw jud mong kasayop diha. Kaya masuko ang amahan, ana. Dili gusto ang amahan sa sulod sa iyong balay na ikawatan. Di masaligan. Amen.